right now, either of us can donate a kidney and be able to urinate normally. Either of us can develop, give up a lung, donate a lung and still live normally. We can't take part Olympics, of course, after that. I'm Dr. Lo Chia Shen. Uh, I practice in an infectious disease specialist group. We have uh, uh, some clinics in private hospitals. I run three of the clinics in Farrah Park Hospital, uh, Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital and Clinical Hospital. Pneumonia is essentially a bacterial or viral infection of the lungs. How does one catch pneumonia? So most of these are true respiratory uh, droplets or aerosols. So you, you breathe it in, right? So you breathe it in and for some reason, your immune system fails in the first check of this pathogen that you breathe in. For whatever reason, either you're on drugs, you're sick, you're old and you have other illnesses and then it develops into an uh, infection of the lungs. And the lungs, the part of the lungs that becomes infected becomes locked with uh, immune cells uh, and, and debris. So that part of the lung ceases to function in its usual uh, role in air exchange. So that's essentially what pneumonia is. Well, I, I would say well, smoking is definitely one of them. All the way from the tip of our nose to the base of our lungs, um, to get pneumonia, all these defences must be breached. Anything that compromises these defences will predispose you to getting pneumonia. So, um, uh, for example, if a person has an alternative air um, method of feeding with an NG tube, a person can continuously aspirate because he has stroke, he has loss of his normal swallowing function and food goes to the wrong way, into the airways, or a person smokes and then his, uh, this is a very long name, the mucociliary elevator in the airways are impaired, this is a defense system in our airways that clears all this mucus as impaired, or a person's cough reflex is impaired, because a cough is also a protective reflex, it's impaired usually because of cigarette smoking, then there are higher risk of pathogens having a free pass down to the lungs. Then there is also risk factors that make a person more likely to die when they get pneumonia. These are elderly um, patients, if they are more elderly or if they have uh, chronic heart and lung conditions. And the reason why that is so is because uh, chronic heart and uh, lung conditions means that your body is already no longer able to mount uh, your body to a higher state to fight the infections. So infection represent higher stress on the on all the body systems. Lah. And if your body systems are already previously impaired, then, then one is more likely to succumb to pneumonia. If you think about it, pneumonia kills the old. It's a killer of old people. It's deadly because when they are in your 80s, your 90s, your body reserves are severely depleted. Right now, either of us can donate a kidney and be able to urinate normally. Either of us can develop, give up a lung, donate a lung and still live normally. We can't take part Olympics, of course, after that. So that's 50% reserve. That means you only need 50% of your body given functions to live normally. But in old age, this reserve gets depleted. For example, for the kidneys, after 40 years old, uh, one loses 1% uh, of kidney function a year. So by the time you're 90, you lose 50%. But it's okay because you are given twice one kidney more than necessary, right? Same with lungs, same with heart, same with all these uh, reserves. Lah. So as these reserves get depleted in older age, and when people catch pneumonia in their later years, then sometimes the body cannot, cannot win this fight. And then that's why they succumb. A lot of pneumonia can be treated on a home basis. Um, of course, the, there must be a selection of those patients that should be treated in hospital and those that can be safely treated at home. So a famous criteria is the CODE 65 score. So essentially people must uh, have, they must not be confused, they must have stable respiratory rate, stable blood pressure and they must be quite young. Lah. I suppose above 65 years old it might be a bit foolhardy to treat the pneumonia at home. Uh, 
uh, they must not be on oxygen, they must essentially be a healthy, normal person who happens to catch pneumonia. And this, this is the best group that should be treated at home with oral antibiotics. Of course, COVID-19 can cause pneumonia, but the proportion of these people, COVID-19, that can cause pneumonia decreases with vaccination. And it has also changed substantially from one variant to the next. So it depends on which variant the, the proportion also changes. COVID-19 should actually not be some terrible crisis that we are fighting now and scratching our heads and, and sweating and bleeding over. It should be that, but not only that. The more important lesson for COVID-19 is to develop our systems, our signs, our behavior in a way that will make COVID-28, COVID-37, COVID whatever impossible ever again. So this is the chance for us to grab COVID and nip it at the bud. We have early research recently published, very exciting research by Dr. Wang Lingfa, talking about broadly neutralizing uh, antibodies uh, against other coronaviruses. It should serve as a reminder to the world that such things can happen. Something can come along and wipe out millions. So. It should be a crisis that we do now, but it should also be a lesson for future generations. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for your regular dose of Asian health information.